The devastating fires that swept across parts of Maui are now the deadliest wildfires in modern U.S. history. At least 93 confirmed fatalities, though that number is expected to rise, with hundreds still accounted, unaccounted for. So far, only a small number of destroyed structures have been searched for human remains, and many survivors say they had no warning about the fires. The Hawaii Emergency Management Agency confirming the island's comprehensive siren systems were never activated. The circumstance was greatly complicated also by the heat and the speed with which the fire spread, destroying a great deal of infrastructure. Over time, we'll be able to figure out if we could have better protected people. Many families who have lost everything are beginning to pick up the pieces. And tonight, that includes a Hudson native who moved to Maui to start his own business. News 5's Brink Caswell shares why Sam Younger and his wife are not running from tragedy, but are embracing it instead. For Sam Younger and his wife Josie, Hawaii is home. But before moving to the Aloha State, Sam was born and raised in Northeast Ohio. I was raised in, in Hudson, Ohio and graduated from 2001 from Hudson High School. Sam's passion for scuba diving moved him to Lahaina, Hawaii in 2009. Sam met Josie shortly after the move. We've been married for about six years and we started our own scuba diving company together um, about 10 years ago. And we just do private family certifications, guided dives, introductory first time dives um, to families visiting here in Maui. But it was at this moment captured on Sam's phone last week. We just saw these big black clouds of um, of smoke going across the town into the ocean. Sam and Josie knew the life they spent the last decade building together was going to be changed forever. I think we're still kind of in a state of shock. Caught in the middle of the wildfires, their home on Front Street is now a total loss. It's gone. Everything's gone. This is before and this is after. We've seen pictures of the remains of what is now our house and it's completely unrecognizable, but it still almost doesn't feel real. Their business, Sammy Scuba Diving, is also a total loss too. We had a little office that's gone down on Front Street. Our house is gone, all our equipment, everything is gone. The wildfires have taken the lives of over 90 people and is said to be one of the worst disasters in the state's history. Sam says they're lucky to have made it out alive. It's been tough, kind of a, like I said, the wave of emotions, but after a couple of days and realizing how we did lose everything, we do need help. You know, we do need help and not just us, but the town of Lahaina, the people, um, the small businesses who lost everything, the families who lost everything, the homes. We don't know where to start. Sam's mother, who still lives in Hudson, started a GoFundMe to help Sam and Josie get back on their feet and eventually rebuild their business. So far, over $16,000 has been raised. The outpour of, the, of that has been just overwhelming, and it just means so much just to that people show us that they do care. Search and recovery efforts are still underway in Maui. Sam and Josie say Lahaina will rebuild, and they're staying every step of the way. We want to be here. We want to help rebuild when everything is said and done. We want to continue to live on this beautiful island and contribute. In Cleveland, Bryn Caswell, News 5.